Colin, you're getting a new co-host. I am now rebranding myself, and you're so getting a new co-host. So it's still gonna be you. But it's like an evolution of me, like how all right, all right. Uh, Snoop Dogg is now Snoop Lion. All right, so like Anthony I'm a 2. butterfly. 0. Yes, Pioneer Dark. <laughs> my name that's your how do you get pioneer dark from anthony um i use the wu-tang generator (laughs) 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 so you were an older brother okay i am and and you have uh, like little cousins and stuff like that um have you ever played any any pranks like 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 pranks on their uh growing minds what like to deceive them <laughs> yeah so one of my favorite things to do <laughs> guys anthony's um, <laughs> just cruel to kids I guess. <laughs> no it's it's never like anything anything like terrible but it's like um so my little cousin when when they were like uh you know three years old um like this is a thing that i learned uh from from other older members of my family we were like uh oh look it's the moose and we'd point at a dog the dog and he'd be like oh the moose is coming you want to give the moose a big pet and so like we just really enforced that that's a moose <laughs> and then man you're just messing the kid up for like the kid life goes to kindergarten Why? and you know like there's a dog picture Dude. and they're like and they're like what's this and everyone's like a dog and they like, a moose that's like this that's the equivalent to, to like the people who are like 27 <laughs> realizing that it's not bone app the teeth <laughs> 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 like you, bon apple schmeef. like it's you, you gotta just you gotta consider the learning development of a child like yeah. their brain they're so susceptible to information <laughs> and you're just giving them the wrong information yeah but i like don't you think it's kind of funny lies it's kind of funny oh that's hilarious but keep it in your family maybe <laughs> <laughs> oh. um well you know blood blood uh, runs thicker than water <laughs> No, but and think about it this way, right? Like, I think you can. What does that have to do? With that? <laughs> I think you can have. It's like it's like with little kids, they're so uh, easy to sort of. I don't want to use the word manipulate, but <laughs> but, but you do. It... You know, yeah, a little bit. So it's <laughs> like um, another thing uh, with my uh, little cousin. Uh, you know, like you'd always play games what's, and stuff, um, right? What's their name? Like Gary. Yeah, we'll call them Gary. Okay. Um, with little Gary. Um, we'd, we'd, uh, want to play like hide and seek or something, or I would want to specifically play hide and seek. And my brother like wouldn't care cause he was a couple of years older than me. Mm. Um, and then, uh, the little kid would be like, Oh, I don't want to play no hide and seek. That's how Gary talked. He smoked a lot as a kid. <laughs> um, how old's this kid? It's 63. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, let's say like five, five. Okay. okay five. Um, uh, so I would, uh, Very just impressionable age. I would invent a game. That was the exact same as hide and seek Mm -hmm. and tell them that that's what we would play. And they would get super excited about it because it was a new game. I called the game the fox and the rabbit. (sighs) And I said, you know, the fox has to count to 10 and the rabbit has to hide. So the fox doesn't eat him. And then and then. (laughs) okay, that's that's like less that's less terrible than making sure that a kid thinks that a dog is a moose <laughs> yeah but like that's just kind of like funny. that's that's fun that's that's a good game you know yeah. you can you can call it whatever you want yeah but, but it's like, like now it's, enforcing still that two plus seek. two equals five per se is is a whole other thing i like, think that kid's not going damaging. to be an engineer anymore <laughs> like he <laughs> gets more damaging than like yeah oh that dog's a moose what the, creating the math. A, a game no, the oh math the math is, yeah yeah no math is you, you really got to know your math yeah i but, think actively because like like that's gonna but mess them up them bad them, because they're gonna. You want people to take them seriously. Though. Yeah, but it's like, oh, they think like a like you, you know one moose? thing's wrong. What <laughs> one animal's wrong? Like what's what's ever gonna stop? Well, I them assume in life? that you do this for more than just one animal. Yeah, but it's got to be like three things. You know, like you tell them that like noodles are rice. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So they go to a restaurant, right? Yeah. They go to a <laughs> uh, I don't know what what serves noodles. Uh, you go an to Italian a, restaurant. You go to an Italian the restaurant. Olive Garden. All the, the Olive Garden. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and and they they order uh, noodles, ex- yeah. fully expecting rice. Yeah. <laughs> like they fully expect it to come fully out as a bowl of rice. Yeah. And then they send it back because they're upset with the. They're like, this isn't what I ordered. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. You're just setting them up for failure in <laughs> yeah, every but, like, situation. The thing is, it's like it's not going to last longer than when they're ten, right? And uh, it's never a thing. Maybe it's something that'll affect their confidence at ordering at a restaurant, which they'll get over by well, fifteen. You're you're a strong-willed guy, and I think that people in your family are also strong-willed, and oh, so, so think I think that they're, that they're gonna just gonna to power it. through. So people would try to like somebody in my family might be like, "Hey, little Gary, you know, it's, uh, that's a, it's that's actually a it's, it's not, not a moose, it's, it's a dog, a, it's a dog." And then he'd be like. No, nah, it's a moose. Well, no, and then and then Gary would pull That's out a, a picture. Five-year-old, then by the Gary way. would. Uh, <laughs> nah, it's because he smokes, right? <laughs> yeah, a lot. Six packs a day. Um, see, but Gary would then pull out a picture of a moose and see. What, then what do you call this? Because you think it's a dog. Oh, so you just like reverse a Uno, right? Yeah, I'd reverse Uno. I, I kind of like that idea. I think it's funny. See, but that's also the thing with games is like you can just make up games and kids will like assume that like that's like a real game. <laughs> Right, you just make up the rules. To, yeah, so you just that make them up on the spot. Like that's kind of a cool thing about kids, because it's like I'm pretty sure that a lot I don't of kids make up the rules to games that they make up. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think a, game, well, I think a lot of kids make up rules to games that you know already have rules, because <laughs> they're like, well, but like I actually saw your foot, and that means that it means that I, because when I was counting to ten, but then you called it for the same time that I was found, and, and it's like, like what are you talking about? You're playing, you're playing Gary? war. With yeah. your with your cards, and yeah. then they just like every single time they just play the same card. And it's yeah. an ace yeah. <laughs> every time. Or, no, it's like no, it's more like a thing. It's like they have a three and you have a four, and you're like, well, yeah, but like I play that so like when it's three, it's actually more like it's because it's five than because it beats four. But then four uh, is this uh, is like a four, <laughs> right? And it's like oh yeah, that's what I meant. That's Obviously. how you play. Thanks, thanks yeah. for that kid. Thanks. It's just because they don't want to lose or whatever. Well, I I think you're just intentionally screwing up a child's life but i, I think don't that's think hilarious. it's that dramatic if it's like just like a one you know like a moose to a dog i, I would never make it bigger than that because when you get into math you know people already struggle with math and you're going to get into like some hard territory like you start to identify what a dog is in junior kindergarten like that's gonna that that that's like that five. prank is gonna be like over really quick <laughs> your teacher's gonna have to like do a lot of work yeah. on the kid but you know what thinking about this it actually uh, blends into another thing that i wanted to bring up um you were talking about how, you know, bon apple, t- bon apple tight t- or whatever, right? Instead of bon appetit, right? How some people hear that wrong. Um, I, I was actually getting into those, uh, those things, uh, um, recently where it's like a spelt out thing and you have to figure out what it says. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah. Or like, like a tongue twister and stuff. And What's I actually, I have one of these written out for you and I wanted you to, to read it out to the audience. Just read it out. And then, um, we'll see if you understand what it is right away. Uh, but you got to read it out, okay? Because everyone at home they can't they can't uh, sure. see the screen. Okay, okay. So it's the third line down here. Third line down. Yeah. Uh, read it out. I ham yum. Say it a little quicker. I ham yum. <laughs> you're what? I am dumb. <laughs> you're dumb. <laughs> I am dumb. I am, wow. I am dumb. I am dumb. <laughs> Like that, so that was uh, the word. You shouldn't have given it away. We could have made it like a poll. You like that? It's the the word uh, I like your like in your face. Don't explain it. Don't even explain uh, it. Ham like it. like uh like ham the food, but with the d e d and then yum as in that ham was yummy. I hope you enjoy the show. The show, <laughs> wait, 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 the wait, show wait, is wait. ending now. Wait, 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 wait. I hope you enjoyed the show, the show, the show, the show, because we liked having the show in Colin's house today. (laughs) Thanks for watching the show, guys. Um, That was our guest uh, speaker, um, Michael (laughs) Bolton, who sang the theme song there for the outro. And uh, thanks a lot. Review the show. And uh, see you next week.